So let's have a look at this set of paper stumps. We have, of course, had paper stumps uh, around in the market for a while, but this is a set of three, so you've got three different sizes, and these paper stumps are also made with rice paper, which makes them a lot smoother, and they seem to be much more effective at smoothing and blending things out. Right, okay, I'm gonna use some charcoal with these uh, paper stumps, just because it's really easy for you to see how the uh, stumps work. It also works with pastels and pastel pencils and anything soft and dusty like that really well. In fact, I think you can also get quite a good effect with them with some soft graphite pencils as well. But for this little demo of, of, of the set of three, I'm going to use some charcoal. So I'm gonna start off with a charcoal uh, block just to lay down a kind of background, which we can then smooth out using one of the uh, paper stumps. So there we go, there's a background starting point. And whilst we're at it, I might put a few clouds in the sky with that. There we go. Nice texture, right? I'm going to pick up the uh, largest paper stump and start blending that in. You can see immediately how quick and easy it is to blend with this. It's, it works a lot better than your finger. Well, more effectively than your finger, obviously. You can use your finger, but this, apart from anything else, keeps your fingers clean and really, really blends nice and smoothly into the paper. So I think actually I might put another layer of that on. Shadow there, you see. Get ourselves a bit of a hillside, I think. And I'll just blend that there. And I'll leave it a little bit lighter on the right hand side. So that's the big paper stump. And you can see how it's uh, working well with that. What I'm going to show you actually as well is how to clean these. Um, best way is on a sandpaper block and you just give it a rub over the sandpaper keep rotating it round until you've got it clean okay okay I think what we'll do let's just put a let's I'll tell you what well a bit of a line around the horizon then yeah, right here, I think I'll take a tree up. I'm just going to draw in here with just with the dark charcoal pencil. And I'm going to be quite rough with the lines that I'm drawing. I'm not going to shade around it that much because I'm just going to show how we can use the paper stumps to do that for us. So I'm just going to put the shadow in there and maybe put a little in there and that would obviously eventually go off the top of the page so that's there for now right wintry tree okay let's take this the middle size paper stump out i'm just going to use that and just drag it around the uh, tree itself and you can see how you can just pull tone into the tree without having to colour or cover the whole of the area with the actual charcoal pencil itself. There we go. Actually, whilst we're there, we could soften the clouds a little bit. in the tree and we'll just uh, finish the picture off a little bit there and we'll add a bit more shadow in down this area I think and then a shadow from the tree starting out there and then perhaps we could have some sort of windswept bushes on the horizon 
soft again, have a bit of shadow in. A lot smaller. And I want a bit of texture in these. You know, we're just having a thing. So what I'm going to use then is the smaller paper stump just to push the uh, pigment into the paper a bit more. It gives it quite a nice effect rather than having everything totally natural. As it goes onto the paper, I'm just using the tip of the paper stump there to keep some of the detail, but also make it nice and smooth. There we go.